So, I've got an email. Um, I would show it off, but I'm recording this on a tablet and my cameras are blocked up because of what Kyle did last year, but whatever. Facebook appeal, yes, I'm talking media content. Uh, this platform has detected content in your account that is exclusively available for licensing by Junkin Media. We evaluated the usage of the content and do not believe that it would be protected under fair use and do not see a record of a license for this use. If you have purchased a license or received permission, please send that to us so we can verify it. That's the thing. Lots of political commentators have used it. I don't think any of them have gotten permission from Jung and Media to use it. And I know that that's going to seem like me touting out, going, hey, take down these guys. Uh, because you're taking me down and all, but the thing is that I don't really have a choice. But whatever. Please provide proof of valid permission or delete the video by the 15th of February 2022. Right. Excuse my French, but that's bullshit. Right? You've sent this email to me on the 15th of February. I'm looking at the date right now. 15th of February 2022. 31 past 9 in the morning, UK time. You have not considered the fact that this email might come in late or the fact that I am 12 hours ahead of you guys because I live in the UK and I'm, I'm going to assume that because this is an email from Facebook that you're situated in California. Like, I, I was talking to people about this and all of them were saying, oh, Dylan, why do you think you're going to get an email from Mark Zuckerberg? I'm going, I'm not getting an email from Mark Zuckerberg. I'm going to get an email from someone who works at Facebook. Probably in their California headquarters. Anyway. Uh, may I assert our rights over the content, which may have an effect on your account. It's not going to really have an effect on my account because you just keep on banning my account. Or keep on threatening to ban my account. So, it's just going to be another day at the office, basically. Why do I need the licensed content? Aren't these just random internet videos? That seems like the, like what my appeal was, but it's not. The creator of any video, whether it's a short video clip or a full-length film, is the legal copyright holder and is uniquely authorized to publish that work. Now, I know that you aren't YouTube, you don't have any sort of contact with YouTube or anything. You're probably friends with Susan, but my point is that I got a copyright block on one of my videos on YouTube, and the video was just my voice. Like, it was a school segment, and the video was just a school segment, but there wasn't any Twitter or memes or reviews or anything. <clears throat> anyway. The practice is known as freebooting, downloading someone else's content, then re-uploading it to one's own page for personal benefit. It wasn't for personal benefit. It was for the benefit of Sarah Silverman and T-Mobile, or whoever, whatever phone company it was. I gain nothing by defending Sarah Silverman, because I I do not like Sarah Silverman. I don't know what her comedy is like. I haven't seen her comedy. I'm mostly on about her politics. Anyway. Is illegal and actually a form of copyright infringement. Junkin Media works with video users, sorry, video owners and shares the revenue from licensing with them. It's usually for the filming content. The day Junkin is currently paid out more than 25 million in royalties to everyday video creators. Wow, okay. And? If you have additional questions, following resource may help. Full to you, Facebook help, copyright, or YouTube appeals. Oh, so Junkin Media is actually emailed me here, not Facebook. Huh. Right. But why? Because you know this is a Facebook appeal. Why are you sending me links to YouTube? So it seems to me that you're aware of the fact that the video actually came from YouTube and... I'm going to bring up 
I can't bring it up on my tablet because this is an actual recorded video. This isn't like a Mobby's End video. But is my phone nearby? Let me find my phone. Right, so I got my phone. And let me just go on to YouTube and search up uh, Sarah Silverman. It's a boy. Sorry, it's her silver. Sorry, it's a boy, right? That's roughly what I searched up when I made the video. And I clicked on the second result, which was uploaded by someone called Ashfi Disney. No connection to Disney Disney. Uh, if you look at her about, it says Super Bowl commercials. And from what I can tell, considering the fact that she has only 122 subscribers. She isn't super. The NFL hasn't given her her permission to do this, so all she does is upload Super Bowl commercials. She she doesn't talk talk about them at all. So why isn't her channel taken down? And I and I understand that it's that my video was on Instagram, her video was on YouTube. But the thing is that since this is an email from Junkin Media. And not Instagram. Since you probably own the majority, if not 100% of the ads on the Super Bowl. Because it seems to be that every video is owned by Junket Media, I swear to God. Since you own all the Super Bowl ads, why haven't why hasn't her channel been taken down? Because she has done less than me in terms of you know, she she's She's uploaded literally hours worth of content. That's not an exaggeration. And they're all Super Bowl commercials. You know, like Budweiser, Weight Watchers, Chevy, Lexus, Skechers, etc. <clears throat> She's done that. She hasn't critiqued it or anything. Doesn't get taken down. But I play one ad and critique it. Apparently that is uh, big no no, and they even come out and say, uh, "Yeah, you cannot critique an ad. That's not fair use." Yeah, it is. Back to the email. Our website contains tens of thousands of videos and is updated daily with fresh new content. We encourage you to check our site often for videos that might fit your future content needs. Ah, okay, right. So it's not the Sarah Silverman ad. Um, they've actually included two videos at the bottom of this email. the The video on the right is um Is this video I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the audio for this so you'll be able to tell what, what it is. It's a screenshot, never mind. But it's a video called Man Cutting Hair Tells Little Boy He'll Have to Something. The video's title is too long that I actually show. Um I'm gonna assume that they got that from the Junkin Media website. I didn't. I got that video from YouTube. Right, so let me just search this up. Right, so there is a YouTube video with a similar title. Man, man cutting hair tells little boy he'll have to shave him bald. I'm gonna play the audio for this video despite the fact that apparently it's a copyright breach. But guess what? It isn't. Yeah, I messed up. We gotta go bald. Oh. So because I used five seconds, six seconds of content. Here's the thing, that video is a massive meme, like massive. I'm going to search up 
on YouTube. Damn, we gotta go bald meme compilation. I know that's cringe, but it's gonna prove my point. Right, so the first thing that pops up is a TikTok compilation, and I'm gonna pause the video to see if this is the same thing. Yep, it's the same audio. Just they've they've put an actual meme to it. Uh, which is surprising for TikTok to be honest. But like there are people who have re uploaded it. Look at that. A guy called Olgoth. Guy called It's Halbert has made a alive again meme. The extra stuff has made an, an extended version which lasts two minutes twenty seconds. Zach memes has made one. Kush twenty fat Ollie, Izzy lifestyle. I don't think that's relevant. Okay. J two crispy etc. I don't know these people on just list them off YouTube channel names, and I understand that that's that is Titan. I don't care. I'm just trying to cover my own ass here. So I assumed that it was either the classical music in the meme part of that, or it was the Sarah Silverman ad. Turns out, oh, oh, oh that, that, that's my, that's my thing here. It's the first time we've been through this classical music is fair use as is my playing of that ad because it is criticism. <laughs> so this isn't fair because it's clear from all of my comments that I've made that I did not assume that it was the original video. I'm, I'm going to break this video down into three segments. Segment one is just damn, we've got to go ball. Segment two is damn we gotta go bald, but it's classical. Segment three is the Sarah Silverman ad, I'm just gonna call it the ad. It's clear from all of my comments that I assume that it was either segment two or segment three. You need to forewarn me that it's actually excuse me, segment one. This just is not fair whatsoever because I am in the blind as to what I've actually done. I didn't know that video was copyrighted by Junkin Media, which I actually find, like, once again, is bullshit. The reason why it is, is because I'm going to assume that the guy that uploaded the video has no connection to Junkin Media. Like,. As far as I know, the video was actually originally uploaded to YouTube, not Junkin Media. Like this is 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 Junkin Media a video sharing website? Let me look it up. Let's take an upload. Yeah, so as far as I know, their video, their channel is a video sharing website, and I actually searched it up on their channel. Then we go to Go Bald, and it says that uh, there's no search results. Well, I'm gonna go back and actually see. If you even let me go back, right. football collection, I guess. Let me see if there's football videos because if there's a video, then that means it's a very video sharing website. So they're they're pissed off at the fact that I used one of their videos, despite the fact that I actually didn't get the video from Jungin Media. Um, and as far as I can tell, the video was actually originally uploaded to YouTube. So why aren't Jungin Media stabbing in on all YouTube and even then? As I've said multiple times, I am not the only guy that re-upload I just seem to be the only guy that ever gets taken down for it. Right, so boy gives his football coach a gift and reads him an emotional something. The video was titled too long to tell. An emotional letter. Uploaded 26th of October 2019. And yeah, it's it's a video, video sharing website, and actually says here choose elections digital for social media, YouTube, blogs, and educational use. I like the fact that they've they specified YouTube as as its own thing that it's not a you know that that it's not a social media. So let's see, personal discount slow is thirty nine dollars, but it's actually forty nine dollars. Basic Pro discount slow is one hundred ten dollars. Actually, one hundred fifty dollars. Super Pro discount slow is two hundred nine dollars. Free 
hundred dollars for a license. So are you gonna find me like at least fifty dollars, whatever that comes out to in in pounds? If so, what about everyone else? Like I I'm I'm gonna make this as clear as I can make it. I'm not gonna delete the video. Because with this new context to the I'm actually, I'm probably going to upload this video tomorrow, as in the 16th. That way that the time for this to, uh, for me to delete it is passed. And I understand that they might watch this and go, oh, so he's known. He, like, he had the chance to delete it, but didn't do it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to delete the video. And if they try and do something, I'm just going to say, I'm not, I'm... Not the only guy to have re uploaded that clip. Also, the video is. Let's see, when was it uploaded? July? Uh, July 16th, 2021. Right? Oh, it actually says on, on my. It actually brings up some information about my account. Published on Instagram. Not a flagged video, not monetized, was not live, not a business. The reason why I'm not a business is because you took my business privileges away. That's the reason why I'm not a business account. Also, like, I, I get that there's no business accounts on YouTube, but, like, see when it comes to amount of, I'm just going to say par. A 40, whatever. I'm on the same level as these other guys. So. <clears throat> I imagine they're going to email me again. Going, why do you not upload it? And then. I, as far as I know, this is not a no reply email. Um, but yeah. It, this is just terrible. I like the fact that Jonathan Bradley paid a more than twenty five million in royalties. Then, where are, are my royalties? Because I'm I'm going to try and see if I can find the original. I know that with YouTube and all, it's hard to find the original. Um, but if I search up original, I'm just going to go off what the first video was. First video by Ugolf, 45 million views, uploaded two years ago. Ugolf has 57.7k subscribers. And as far as I can tell, he just re uploads other people's videos. Such as, like, he, he's got a bit here from Critical, and that guy that goes, my favorite swear words are uh, the free ones that he says, I don't remember. <clears throat> Addison Ray, uh, some stuff in Cyberpunk. More critical. That guy that went on Omega on a skirt, uh, etc. So he's uploading videos from a bunch of different people, and you can tell that he isn't these people because he's uploading videos from white people and uploading videos from black people. Like he, he's not critical, obviously. So. You're paying a guy for something that was not his. So, that's just ridiculous. And I've got nothing more to say because I think I've just said something else. I'm going to, I'm going to repeat myself more than I already have, you know. So um, I'm just gonna like break down an, an ultimate plan. I'm not gonna do anything about it if they email me again and if I get a chance to actually talk to them. Although they did like I had to give them my phone number, so they probably will phone me and I'm glad that they're phoning me now rather than last week because they'll probably have to <clears throat> probably be in the middle of class because they have no sense of I can't think of what the term of you know what what it I'm thinking of. I'm just gonna say common courtesy. 
Um, if they phone me, I'm just gonna say, you know. So, I'm just gonna break down this email and talk about why it's BS. So you know, uh, I had no warning that it was about segment A slash one. Uh, second thing is, based off this, I can tell that you're paying a guy who doesn't own that video. Like, you know, the guys just re-upload it because he's just. Excuse me, he's just a guy that re-uploads content, which, that's what I do, but sometimes I'll critique it, sometimes I'll talk about it. <clears throat> uh, what else? Yeah, I think that's it, actually. Just those two things. So, uh, yeah. Look out on the, on Good Morning Britain, they'll probably see me in handcuffs going to court. Hopefully not.